Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Honored Elders Tribute to this year's recipient, Betty Martin. Every year, the Migway Mawiomi celebrates one of its elders in this way. The elders are such an important part of our communities, and this year, it is our honor to pay tribute to Betty Martin of Geskabegyak. Thank you, Betty, for all that you do for your community. Growing up with my mom and siblings were us lovely and we had our moments like mom was a strict person but it's normal, it's a parent and with my siblings we all got along very good. We had a strict mother. <laughs> I remember when I was young, I still got black elbows. I remember she put Javex on them. <laughs> There was no medication, so I said, I'll do it my way. So she put Javex in my elbows and still told it, it didn't work. <laughs> what we did, we used to, every Saturday she made us dust, so we had this five big shelf. So we only did three, well, beginning we used to do them all, but we got tired at the end, we started doing just three at a time. So one day she decided to, uh, to do the dust and and she noticed there was three of them that wasn't dusty as the tree on top. So the following time she kept on watching us. Every time we would dust, she'd sit there and watch us. So that was her punishment. So we had to <laughs> clean what she told us to do. And it was a lot of knickknacks, believe me. She loves her cleaning. Oh, my God. If anything happened to her someday, I'll have to throw the vacuum cleaner with her. Because <laughs> if she goes, if she, I know she's going to go to heaven, she'll need that vacuum. <laughs> uh, she's not that bad now with the grandkids. Because <laughs> uh, the grandkids, they're, they're pretty cool with my mom. She tried to spoil them, but <laughs> we don't let her because she always tells us, don't spoil your kids. <laughs> so we don't. She don't. I miss it. I wish we were back in our childhood because like today, there's a lot of stuff with computers, cell phones, it's, we didn't have back then and those were good memories that we had. I know when we were young, like I know like a lot of our friends, them they can they can go all over, but us, we, we can never pass the church and my aunt Alona's house, that was our, as soon as they know we passed by, somebody would call my mother, your kids are past this place and this place, so we had to go back again. We're always getting it anyway. It was a fun part. Now anyway, <laughs> back in the day, it wasn't funny. She used to tell the grandkids, you're going to get the Betty special. She didn't say grandma special, it's a Betty special. Then I asked her one day, what's a Betty special? You don't remember last week I gave you one? Oh, right across the head, I said, yeah. She said, yeah, oh, that was it. So I didn't, I didn't know what was that great, Betty special to all the grandkids. Oh, yeah. But I got them a lot. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, it was my kid, my sisters and brothers. When you get hit by the, by the back of your neck. <laughs> yeah, so very special. She used to always say that, I'm going to give you guys very special pretty soon if you guys don't listen and... <laughs> we always listen. We were scared of that Betty special, but she done it to some of the grandkids, and it was funny to see. <laughs> well, I've only met that once, and it's not something anybody wants to meet—a little slap behind the neck. She hurts, that's for sure. But I've only really met her once. It would be more my uncle Nell, my mom, and my aunt that met that. But uh, me, it, uh, I got it once, and that was good enough. Never needed it anymore. Well, she had once told me to go in the woods, pick a stick. I got in a lot of trouble. I forget what I did. So I went in the woods and I got the smallest one and laughing at her as I gave it to her. I wasn't laughing after she hit me with it because it didn't break. <laughs> it hurt. So I, I always said if she ever got me to pick another one, it's going to be a big one this time. Or she'll hit me and she'll snap, not whip. And when we were younger, she was gone more. Now she's open, you know, she's limited time open or where she can't be there. I mean... Uh, but before it used to be at where the healing lodge is now, so there that's where they had the basket making, everything was going on there. I find she's real good. 
uh, for the, the people here, for, especially for the basket makers. Uh, and, uh, and she can run the business real good because uh, I know for many years that, uh, that I did you know, sell baskets for her and, uh, and a lot of times so she'll want a special basket, she'll come and see me and order a special basket. What impressed me first when I first started working there is she could take a basket and look at a basket and say, that's Dan Kondo made that. And then she'd look at another basket and say, well, that's Francis Jerome that made that. And she'd look at another basket and John Martin or like anybody else. Like, and I'm like, you must have been here a long time because I like, but she would take any basket, Annie Condo's basket and say, look, this is Annie's basket. Like, she, she's been there so long that I guess it comes natural to her. I said she does a good job running the co-op, you know, and, uh, and uh, I'm sure, and there's a lot of people from outside that orders basket, you know, and uh, a lot of people from New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, everywhere they know, and uh, they depend on her, and, uh, and she wants, uh, they order baskets, she'll go and see the basket makers and say, I need these baskets, you know, and um, I know Betty for a long time, and to me, She's very good. You know. She's she's doing her job, and uh, without uh, without her, I don't think the co-op would have uh, survived. You know. Like from the time I knew, as a, as a, my boss, till now, I always say to myself, "How does she do it?" Like I'm getting back to that that superwoman because you when you're at work, you know she's 100% at work. She's 100% when she's volunteering, she's 100% when she's helping elders, she's, so you say to yourself, how does she do it? Where does she, she must, like, we have 24 hours in a day, I think Betty must have like a 36 hour day or something for her to succeed what she's doing, she's like really, really good at it. Even like working with her, I, I replaced her one time at a powwow because she couldn't go and it was at Eel River Bar and, uh, the people that were there, they kept coming up and they're like, uh, we usually buy from that nice lady. And I'm thinking like, why are you saying nice lady? I'm not that bad. But I had to prove to them that it was Betty and they, then they were coming, because they're, they're so used to Betty. Betty, I mean, she's just kind to people and she takes the time to listen to people. So people kind of like, even at powwows, they'll look for her because she brings, she brings the basket, but she brings best of herself too. She's doing a good job, and uh, very, everybody likes her, and and she goes like you know, she even if today there she goes to the powwows and brings all those baskets, and uh, I think it's uh, it's something that uh, people will never forget what Betty did for the people here. You know. Some of the things that uh, we volunteer and we work for is uh, the bingo uh, for Monday night uh, uh, at the Elders Lodge. We've been doing that for a couple of years and quite, well, quite, a, quite a few years. And then again, it's all the uh, work for we do for Betty because she's one of the, uh, the backbones that uh, she is, one of the uh, people that who really cares for the elderly here and uh, really takes care of them. And she has a good crew that uh, helps along and uh, uh, for elders bingo and of course then there's with us there's the elders fundraising bingo uh, that's another night that uh, she is the uh, part of where she manages the uh, the voluntary and all the voluntary work workers who uh, I might say there's quite a few of them and uh, we do a lot for Betty Martin and uh, we just love doing that uh, you know because it it helps us for me for my on my on my head behalf I get to uh, talk to the elderly and I got to uh, meet some friends with them, and through Betty, you know, uh, we had great times with the, uh, the, the citizens of, uh, I guess, Cavigio. She was there long before I came along. She was the, our leader. I'm not gonna say boss, because she's always works as a team. We work together. So anytime she does anything, she asks the team first. So I've been there 15 to 20 years, and she's been there, I'd say 30 plus years volunteering for this and it's mostly for the community the elders um, our elders every year go to St. Anne she pays for their food everything 
So it's a trip for them. And for, she'll donate for funerals, children's events, um, special activities. She'll get us, our group together, and we discuss what needs to be done and who needs help. Betty is kind of like, she starts it, but then she has a few people who are like in charge of, um, I don't know, like there's a lot of behind the scenes people too who do like getting all the bingo cards ready. Or for me, I always sat with her uh, at the Tuesdays, helped her sell tickets and whatever. And uh, bin Thursday night bingos, I sell cards. And everybody who works is pretty much volunteer when it's something to do with Betty's organization. If anything happens, um, she'll ask a lot of people already for food, for anything, anything that needs to be donated. And everyone is willing to help out anyway, because as soon as she mentions it, everyone steps up. Um, I'm not sure if it's just her, but I know part of it is mostly her because she usually asks for everyone that um, cooks and stuff to bring something. So she does that. Even if anybody needs help and stuff, she'll go out of her way and help out. Betty can be a lot of things. Betty has a lot of hats. And she's a very strong woman, that's all I can say. I'm, I'm proud to be by her side when it comes to helping the community. She's great. She's great because I don't think anyone else can do what she does. We'd be here all day and probably all night describing what Betty can do and what she's done for this community. And, you know, I'm glad, uh, you know, uh, people do recognize and gratify uh, Betty Martin here in Giscabiga because, you know, she, you know, she doesn't want to be the, 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 uh, the person to be known that uh, I did it and, uh, you know, it was me. No, 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 she, she has a selfish heart that, that she wouldn't, uh, you know, imply of uh, even thinking that, uh, you know, I'm the one who started this. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. Betty is, has a heart of, uh, is for the love of Giska and, you know, the community members. And uh, uh, I strongly, you know, I have the utmost respect for Betty Martin because the love she gives back and shows for Giska Bigel. Strong, uh, passionate, uh, strong-willed, caring. She's amazing. She's just amazing. She's amazing. She's, uh, she's very helpful and She's just someone, an elder, that you can learn a, learn a lot from. No, she's just amazing. I just, I love working with her. I love doing a lot of things with her, so. Her empathy doesn't just, it's not a small, it's huge. It's for everyone. No matter who you are, where you come from, it's for everyone. She has no prejudice against anybody, you know? So, someday, I hope to do it. I hope to think that I'm like that, just by working under her. She's fantastic, you know. She's a superwoman, put it this way. And I think everybody knows that. You know. She'll try to help you in any way she can, you know. That's one thing about, about Betty. She, she'll help anybody. Like, I mean, uh, we're just talking about, but I mean, Anything she can help you with, she'll help you. Uh, if you're working with her, it doesn't have to be a job issue. She'll close that door, she'll listen to you. She's like, she's, she's always been like that. She's the best grandmother anybody could ask for. The nicest grandmother. You can kick her to the ground, she'll get up and tell you it's okay. She's just, she's, she is awesome. I love my mom very much. And I'd do anything if she needs me, if she needs any help, I, I'll go and she knows I'll be there of a minute. She's a great mother, grandmother, great grandmother. She's a real Giscabigat woman.